Hello everyone, um, today we are going to learn how to do parallel analysis and minimum average partial. Um, in order to do both these tests, we need to make sure that we don't have any other data set open other than the one that we, un we want to work on. And also we need to make sure that we don't have any other syntax window open other than the one that we'll put our syntax on. Okay. So the data set for uh, parallel analysis, uh, we are using Holzinger data set, um, and, and that data set, it's in Canvas as well, okay? So you can you just go ahead and open that uh, Holzinger data set from Canvas, and once you open that, you know, the data set, it looks like this, okay? So um, SPSS does not have direct click and point button for parallel analysis and map so we need to have a syntax um, so that we can make SPSS work on it okay in order to get the syntax you just go to Google and uh, just try type Brian O'Connor parallel analysis and the first thing that pops up it would be programs for number of components and factors using parallel okay so just click on that and this is the website it looks like this okay and just focus on the left side here it has the instruction for SPSS the first one is for map parallel SPS and the last one is raw par SPS for our class we are going to focus on map SPS the first one and raw par SPS okay we're not going to do anything with the middle one we are just going to do raw par SPS because we already have a raw data set for our parallel analysis so let's let's do the par let's do the parallel analysis first in order to get the syntax just click on the raw par SPS and it will open a new window where you'll have the syntax for parallel analysis just go ahead copy and paste it control a control c just copy and we'll paste the the syntax in the spss data raw data so open your spss data click on file on the left hand side file and then new and then syntax and here a new window will, will open where we'll put our syntax so on this one just paste your syntax control v okay so these are all the syntax uh, for parallel analysis um, you know looking at this we don't need all of the instruction here so we are we are going to delete the things that we don't need okay so starting from the top you know number two that's where the syntax will start parallel analysis program for raw data and da data permutations okay so these are just the instructions okay so we don't need all of the instructions okay so starting from number two you know you will go and delete all of all of the instructions until until you reach number 45 49 okay so these are all instructions we don't need that so we'll highlight that and we are going to delete that up to number 49 so next what remains is the these next commands generate artificial raw data okay so we also don't need this because if you use this you know this is just going to generate an artificial data it's just a trial run of the software okay so we also don't need this okay so starting from the asterisk here these next commands okay so we will highlight from the asterisk okay and and end of artificial data commands okay end of artificial data commands we'll highlight up to there and we'll just delete those instructions as well because this is just artificial data set we don't need this okay so end of artificial data commands delete that okay and this is what remains after we delete those instructions okay so now this is where we need to make changes okay so now on number 17 you know after deleting all those instructions you will see get raw file missing omit 
var this is where we'll make some changes okay here it says variable 1 to variable 9 okay so this is the place we'll make changes so instead of variable 1 to variable 9 we will put our variable okay so on on our uh, data set our variable it would be from t1 to t26 okay these are the variables that we'll be working on so we'll put t1 to t26 okay so we just identified what variables we are going to use compute the next one we need to make changes is compute data set here it says 100 so instead of 100 we are going to make 1000 so that will that will generate eigenvalues you know 1000 uh, eigenvalues mm. uh, it, it will uh, it will do um, uh, the calculation itself um, and then compute percent 95 this will leave as it is this is the 95th percentile uh, which we, we are going to compare our um, eigenvalues next you will see enter either one principal component analysis or two for principal axis common factor analysis okay so on the compute kind we are just going to put one because we are we are going to do principal component analysis and then on the next one it will say enter one for normally distributed random data gen generation parallel analysis or two for permutations of raw data set um, we are just going to use one um, so that it will randomly generate the, the eigenvalues okay so we don't need to make changes on this one the only changes we need to make is on the variable where we'll uh, identify what variables we are going to use in this case it would be t1 to t26 and then um, compute instead of 100 we'll put 1000 that's the only changes we'll make and we don't need to after we make that changes we will not delete anything until we come to the end of matrix okay so don't delete anything until end of matrix just below the end of matrix you will see plots eigenvalue by root okay so this we don't need as well because it is trying to read uh, it is trying to uh, read the the spss file okay we already have our spss file open so we don't we don't need this as well so just delete that as well okay so um, end matrix and matrix okay so this is this is what is left after we delete all of those okay in order to run this syntax we'll do run and we will do all okay so this is this is the new results or the this is what the SPSS output looks like okay so you might uh, you might wonder n cases okay our total number of cases is uh, 301 but here it just says 1 145 it's because we found out that variable 25 and 26 they had the missing data so, uh, you know almost half of them were missing so that's the only reason we had this 145 uh, here we have n data sets um, a thousand that's what we specified number of variables uh, t1 to t26 that that's what our number of variables were and and percentile 95 okay so this is what we specified now where we need to compare um, our, our our raw data eigenvalues is we will compare our raw data eigenvalues here with the percentile eigenvalues okay and we need to make sure you know that the raw data eigenvalues are greater than the percentile eigen eigenvalues okay so we will keep on comparing our raw data eigenvalues until this raw data eigenvalues is no longer greater than the percentile eigenvalues okay so we'll start with the first one the first one is 8.68 and the percentile is 2.0 this is greater than the percentile so that's one variable uh, that's 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 one component you know number of we are trying to extract number of components so that's one component we will extract the other one the second one is 2.07 here the second one is 1.82 so we'll keep that the third one is 1.87 and the third one here is 1.70 okay so this is still greater than the percentile eigenvalues when we move to the fourth one the fourth one is 1.54 and uh, the fourth one here is 1.61 okay so the raw data eigenvalues 
has started becoming lesser than the percentile eigenvalues okay so this is where we will stop okay so as 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 soon as we um, start getting eigenvalues lower in the raw data then the percentile will stop right there so from from our uh, output here we are just going to generate three um, three components okay because um, our